about a month ago I collected 20 gallons of stale gasoline uh, from behind an abandoned uh, uh, motorcycle shop and I've been struggling to try and get it uh, that stale gasoline to blend with vegetable oil. I found out right away that it wouldn't blend with vegetable oil. I also noticed that uh, the vinyl hose I use on my uh, blending tank for a uh, sight glass uh, had swollen which is an indication that uh, that stale gasoline had a high concentration of alcohol in it. And the fact that that stale gasoline I found when I blended it with uh, waste vegetable oil, I found that that stale gasoline floated on top and, and didn't blend at all with the vegetable oil, which is another indicator it probably was alcohol or mostly alcohol. So then I uh, blended that uh, stale gasoline with some waste gasoline of, uh, that was only a couple months old that I had uh, used to back flush my filters. And, by, uh, and the stale gasoline and the gasoline blended well together. But uh, when I blended it with uh, vegetable oil, only uh, about three gallons of the vegetable oil blended, but it indicated that I was moving in the right direction. So anyway, uh, last uh, weekend, I uh, added um, a gallon of acetone to that blend. So it was roughly 50% uh, vegetable oil, uh, about 25% stale gas, and uh, or 20% stale gas and 20% uh, um, gasoline, and I added about 5% uh, acetone to the blend, or a gallon of acetone to the whole blend, and uh, that still didn't solve the problem. Uh, I was still not getting a complete blend, so I added a second gallon of uh, of uh, gasoline, which brought it, or acetone, which brought it, uh, the blend up to 10% acetone and 20% stale gas, 20% uh, fresh gas, and 50% um, uh, waste vegetable oil and at that point it blended. So uh, I've uh, extracted a sample and this is my sample. Uh, the first sample was quite dark. The uh, second sample is still pretty dark but uh, but I can actually transmit light through it and I'll, and I'll zoom in for you. Uh, and um, But the rest of it is, is clear. It's, all, it's about the color of diesel fuel. And as you can see, the light is transmitting through the bottom, and there's not a lot of sediment. This is the first sample I extracted, and it's absolutely black, and there's a fair amount of sediment in it. Uh, but as you can see, uh, the first sample was really only about a liter in size, and uh, I actually extracted, oh, I extracted three more uh, small samples uh, that were getting less and less dark and less sediments. This one actually is relatively clear. I can see light passing through it, but there is a fair amount of sediment on it. And then this one is pretty dark. This must be the second one, I guess. It's pretty dark, but I can see some light passing through it. Alright, so this sample is the good stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the uh, I'm going to check the viscosity and the uh, specific gravity of our sample. And if it's good to go, you know, if it's close to diesel fuel, then I'll run it on my engine. So the first thing that we're going to do is measure the temperature of our sample. It was outside uh, in my processing tank or blending tank overnight and I just brought it in uh, but the temperature of the day is pretty good it's about 75 or 80 Fahrenheit it's been sitting inside for a few minutes equilibrating okay so the temperature is 75.0 uh, uh, Fahrenheit or 23.9 C 
So next step is to check the specific gravity. It's going to be probably pretty close to diesel fuel. So we're going to use the 0.800 to 0.85 hydrometer. It's We're going to put about 500 milliliters into the, into the graduated cylinder. And we're going to put our hydrometer in. And oh, it's, it's almost off scale, dense. Let's see. I'm right at about 0.85 zero. Yeah, it's right on 850. Now let's get our stopwatch and our number zero biz cup. And we've got 38.9 seconds. Uh, okay, diesel is 0.843. So uh, specific gravity 0.843 is diesel. And our sample is 0.850, which makes it specific gravity wise, makes it about. 40, let's see, about, about 35 to 40 percent canola oil in the time was uh, 38.9 seconds and 38.9 seconds uh, well, at uh, uh, viscosity, interestingly enough, reads down around 10%, but the specific gravity reads at 35%, so that uh, is a mystery, and I suspect that, we're, that there's not going to be a one-for-one -one correlation between specific gravity and uh, viscosity, especially when there's multiple components in the in the fluid but when it's only 50 percent uh, vegetable oil and the rest is solvents I'm gonna go with this sample it also seems awfully thin so I'm gonna go with this uh, blend and see how the engine runs on it I uh, drove 500 miles uh, from Prescott to, to southeastern Arizona on uh, a number of blends. One blend was uh, the final uh, consumption of a uh, stale gasoline blend with waste oil. When I left Prescott, the stale gasoline was at about 20%. I had 15% acetone and then total blend. And waste around. vegetable oil. And what I noticed was uh, that the engine was a little sluggish. So I uh, added another gallon of uh, acetone to the blend of waste vegetable oil and gasoline and or stale gasoline and found that it that I could burn the rest of the tank full. So there was still a residue of, of undissolved stale gasoline floating on top. But once I put the uh, extra gallon of uh, acetone into the uh, stale gasoline and vegetable oil blend, uh, the blend ran beautifully. Uh, it actually, my engine actually had more power than it does on diesel fuel and it ran fine through the White Mountains of Arizona.